All right, you ready? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the Live Ready Fitness Podcast, where it is our mission to help you take back control of your life through fitness and nutrition. I am Coach Elliot, and I have Heidi with me, who is our marketing manager here at Live Ready Fitness. What's up, Heidi? Hello. How are it's you? Like, it's almost like I haven't seen you all day. It's almost like that, yes. <laughs> all right, so let's get into this. Um, so today on this podcast, we're going to be talking about the one question that will dramatically change how fast you reach your fitness goals and really any goals you have. So nutrition, maybe business goals, maybe whatever you got going on. I really think that this is going to kind of change the game for some people. That's a big statement you're making. Yeah, for sure. So before we get into that, I just want to talk real quick. I know it's been a while since we've been back on the podcast. We've had some changes and things going on. And so we took a break because we really wanted to dial in who we were trying to help and what our business's mission is. And we've gone back and forth probably a thousand times. <laughs> mm, uh, at least. Yeah, at least. My team usually gets a little upset at me because I go back and forth a lot. Yep, it's true. Yeah. But what we've come up with is basically we know we know the type of people that we want to help and we want to help people who are you know, struggling to like really, to really know what to do to get healthier, you know, people dealing with heart disease, diabetes, pain, people that just, you know, there's tons of information out there. And it's really hard to sift through sometimes. And we know that it's frustrating, you know, it's, it's frustrating for like parents and older population, you know, people over 30 or 40 who are really trying to make make a change for a healthier lifestyle. Uh, there's just so much information. So we know it can be confusing. So we're really looking to help them. And then we're really looking to stay close to home where, you know, our main concern is this community right here, which is the Columbus, Phoenix City, Fort Benning area. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're making a huge impact on on this area. So, you know, this this is the podcast for you guys. Yeah, I think to just to kind of caveat on that, there's there is a lot of like misinformation out there. And there's a lot of unhealth, especially in this area. I think I read a statistic that's like 30% of Columbus, Georgia is obese, not just overweight, like right. obese. Um, and I feel like when you get diagnosed with things like that or heart disease or, or like type two diabetes, there's not a lot of education that you're getting. Yeah. And if you are getting education, it's it's coming from a million different places and, right. and nobody actually knows what the right answer is. And right. it could be very easy to quit. So we're going to try to clear a lot of that stuff up for this area. And, and even though I think it, it's going to benefit everybody, you know, that's, that's really who we're talking to. So we're going to do a lot of things as far as things that will, that will be actionable, things that you can use hopefully today to be able to start today towards a healthier version of you. And we're going to also talk to businesses in the area that, that have that same goal. And hopefully we're going to bring some experts on the show and things like that. So uh, whatever we can do to help clarify things, please, please, please let us know. Let us know in, in the comments. And you can always visit our website and our Facebook page, which is live-ready.com. And our Facebook page is Live Ready Fitness. So definitely check us out there. But let's get into this question. So I can't take credit for this question as much as I would love you to. You try. Yeah, I, I would love to. But um, I actually... You know, I'm a big listener of podcasts. I'm trying to get Heidi to listen to podcasts more. I do. You don't give me enough credit, honestly. <laughs> but but I listen every morning to a podcast called Quote of the Day Show. And it's a fantastic podcast. So maybe one day he'll listen to this podcast and say thank you. But uh, <laughs> um, but it is a fantastic podcast. And it's basically just motivational speakers that the host, Sean Croxton, he basically goes on there and he puts the, he does a great job of putting motivational speakers up and having something to learn every morning. And it's a great way to start your morning. And when I heard this question, I mean, I feel like it immediately changed my life. Like I thought to myself, yeah, because I thought to myself, like how simple is that to do to get such a huge result, you know? And when I came to work that day, it was probably one of the most 
productive days of my life just because I can, kept on continually asking myself this question. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I think it will fast track your results to whatever you want to go to. Mm. Yeah, I think, I mean, I have heard the question Uh because Elliot won't stop talking about it. (laughs) But yeah, I I just, I agree. I think it's really, it's profound in the way it makes you look at yourself and what you're doing and what you maybe should or should not be doing. And you also told an entire class about it. And yeah, so I mean... It's, yeah, it's spreading quickly around it is. here. And I and I've told my health coaching clients the same thing, and and they love it, and I, and I think it's working really well. So basically, it's it's very simple concept. And the question is, in any given situation, how would your future self handle that situation? Right. So how would whatever your goal is, you know, if your goal is getting a six pack, if your goal is you know, running the the best business in Columbus or, or, or Phoenix City, if your goal is being a better parent to your kids, whatever that goal is, whatever it is, whatever the type of person that you see yourself as, every time you make a decision, or you're about to make a decision, ask yourself, would the future me or how would the future me make that decision? Right? Mm-hmm. And so if you think about that, you know, as a business owner, someone who who does what I do, it's very easy to make decisions that are not helping me help other people, mm-hmm. right? I can be eating my lunch and decide that during lunch, I'm going to watch 30, 45 minutes of Netflix, right? And even though there's there's not anything necessarily wrong with that, when I ask myself, it, you know, the person that I want to be is somebody that is dramatically making changes in people's lives and inspiring and doing those things. Would that person spend 45 minutes watching, watching Netflix? Netflix. <laughs> and probably not, you know? <laughs> and, and the same thing even at night when you're binge watching, or I'm, I'm, I'm about to you know, throw on my favorite series. I'm like, man, would I, should I watch an hour of Netflix or should I read a book for an hour mm. or should I do something like that? And again, the answer is always the more productive. Right, the more productive <laughs> one if that's what your goal is, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a super, super powerful question. Yeah. And I think, like you said, it really can be just applied to to so many different areas, right? Like we work in fitness. So our clients are like, would future me eat this box of Oreos or right. <laughs> yeah, even like professionally for me, it's would future me be okay with mediocre? Right. right. And the answer is no. And actually present me is not really okay with that either. But <laughs> yeah, it's just, it can and should be applied to just almost every area of your life. I mean, of all of our lives that I feel like that's such a huge question that all of us need to deal with. Yeah. And it's so easily done, you know, even for everybody, for the smallest goal. So if your goal right now, because, you know, this is geared towards people that are trying to get fit, right? So the the question that you can ask yourself daily is anytime that you're going to, you know, make a choice where let's say your goal is you want to drop 30, 40 pounds, Mm -hmm. right? It's, Okay, I'm going like you said, I'm going to reach for the Oreos and I'm I'm going to, you know, have a, a giant meal of pasta and all sorts mm-hmm. of stuff and and again, not saying that that not, any of that is not okay, right? right? But it's would future you who has the body that you want, whether it's a six pack, whether it's just to to be, you know, a little bit more leaner, whatever the case is, would that person make that decision? Mm-hmm. And again, if the answer is no, then you don't do it. Mm-hmm. And the I think the amazing part about that is I think a lot of people are like, I need that motivation. I need that accountability. I need I need to be pushed, mm-hmm. right? And I think what's awesome about this is you're not being pushed. You're being pulled by mm. your future self. Yeah. Right? Like your future self is like, you I want you're gonna be me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull you over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I and and I think that if you can get that type of accountability from yourself. Right. And someone is pulling you towards your goal, then you're going to be just so much more successful. Right. And it's not someone pulling you to your goal. It's you pulling you to your goal. Right. Like so many times we need other people to push us, like to keep us accountable. And when we're just starting at something, I think that's great. But you grow out of that eventually. If you're continuing to grow, you, you do grow out of that. You need to be able to keep yourself accountable. Right. Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, the accountability has to come from internal. Mm-hmm. There's only so much that 
an accountability coach, a fitness coach, uh, you know, buying yourself gifts and all that <laughs> stuff is, is going to go. Yeah. You've got to have something stronger. And, and I think you're right. I think the pull from, from yourself is, is going to be what does it. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah. So that is the question that we're going to challenge you to today. Don't don't wait till Monday, right? Would the future you wait till Monday? Probably not. Um, <laughs> don't wait till Monday to to make the decision to start using this and to to be the person that you want to be tomorrow or five years from now. Mm. Yeah. So that is it. We're going to keep them nice, short and sweet for you guys. If you want to reach out to us, you can check us out on live-ready.com. That's our website. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook by searching Live Ready Fitness, on Instagram at Live Ready Fitness, all one word. And then, of course, our YouTube channel, Live Ready Fitness, where we're actually getting ready to do a complete overhaul of that YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And there'll be a lot of tons and tons and tons and tons of real quick information for you guys that you can um, access that will help you when you're in the gym working out with nutrition and things like that. Um, and if you reach out to us on YouTube, you can also be invited to our private Facebook group that has tons of resources and has c people in there that are going through the, the same thing that you guys have gone through or are currently going through. Or are about to go through to help your future self. That's right. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.